Well, it's my pleasure now to welcome radiation oncologist, Dr. Minji Ma, who works at the National Cancer Center of Mongolia. Uh, she trained and worked in Prague in the Czech Republic, and she's also worked and trained in Singapore and Austria. So welcome to our conversation. First of all, I would like to uh, uh, thank uh, you for giving me an opportunity to talk about the condition of radiotherapy and we uh, the, the, to explain the problems we face in Mongolia. So um, uh, as uh, the uh, Mongolia has a very large territory, it's about 1.5 million square kilometer and uh, fairly, um, uh, the population is not very big, uh, <laughs> it's small, 3.3 uh, million and uh, um, one third of the uh, population lives in, in the capital city of Ulaanbaatar and the rest of people is very sparsely uh, populated. So um, uh, there is only one cancer center uh, which um, provides the diagnosis and treatment uh, countrywide. So therefore, all people in Mongolia, even from far most uh, um, uh, this, uh, it's called IMAC in Mongolia, it's a province, uh, need to come for treatment if they are diagnosed or um, uh, uh, diagnosed uh, with cancer. Yeah. So and so they, some of your patients have to travel a thousand kilometers or more if they yeah, have. Yeah, that's treatment. right. Yeah. Yeah. They have to travel a lot. And uh, also the fa if, uh, family have to follow them and there, there is a financial burden for them to stay here in the Ulaanbaatar. The, I, um, maybe you know that radiation therapy uh, uh, continue quite long. It's uh, usually five weeks or six weeks. So for them, it's uh, very um, difficult to travel and stay long in a uh, capital city. They leave the, uh, their children or parents um, uh, back in the, in the home. So it's difficult uh, time for them. Yeah. And how many radiation therapy machines do you have in Mongolia or Linux as they're called? How many machines do you have? So currently we use two Linux. So most of our patients get uh, radiation therapy with DNAC. What can people in countries like Australia and New Zealand do mm -hmm. to help the cancer patients of Mongolia to get better access to radiation therapy? How can we help? So uh, we have a uh, uh, good relation, uh, good uh, cooperation with Australian doctors and physicists and therapists, fortunately. So since we are cooperating since 2018, so uh, Australian team of doctors, physicists and therapists came to Ulaanbaatar and they, we introduced our condition and we um, organized um, international conference of radiation therapy, LINAC-based radiation therapy, before introducing linear accelerate-based radiation treatment in Mongolia. So they know our condition very well. And so we always make, uh, at the moment, uh, we are in a situation of COVID in this era, we communicate by Zoom, for example, and always um, get advice to introduce new technologies. Uh, because a big issue in Mongolia and other low, uh, low and middle income countries, it's not just the lack of radiation therapy machines or Linux, it's also the need for trained staff, isn't it? That's a big issue. Yeah, yeah, that's a big issue. That's, uh, I completely agree with that. So, they, of course, they, Australia would help the training. They already started um, helping us with uh, training our personnel. Yeah. Minji, thank you so much for talking to us in Australia and New Zealand today. Thank you very much uh, again for giving me this opportunity. Yeah. It was thank nice to have interview with you. <laughs> Wherever we live, we deserve the best possible chance to survive cancer and receive the treatment that will benefit us. We should be able to get access to radiation therapy if we need it. Right now, in Australia and New Zealand, 
there are cancer patients who struggle to get the radiation therapy that they need. In some parts of the world, it's impossible for most cancer patients to get radiation therapy. The Targeting Cancer campaign is supporting the work to close the care gap in radiation therapy at home and abroad. To learn more and to find out how to help, please visit the Targeting Cancer website.